Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Lavinia, and I post beauty videos regarding makeup and skincare. We talk about all things makeup, skincare, acne positivity, and feeling good in your own skin. So if that's something that interests you, I would love for you to join my channel by hitting the big red subscribe button. So today we are going to be starting a brand new skincare trial on some products from La Roger Posay. This is their Effaclair um, kind of collection. I'm super excited about this because I have tried some products from their Effaclair clara collection um a few months back almost a year ago actually but we have some new ones here to try out and these are all meant for acne prone skin which if you don't already know i've been struggling with hormonal and cystic acne since the age of 13 so it's been a long time of me testing different products and seeing what works for me and La Roche Posay is a brand that I actually am really intrigued by. I think they make some great products with some great formulas. So I'm so excited to try out more from them. Now, these products were sent to me, but this video is not sponsored by them. They were simply a gift. Like, try it out, see what you think. If you want to see this two week trial on the La Roche Posay Effaclair collection that's meant for acne prone skin, just keep on watching. Oh, you tell me stories. You took me in. And the second you leave, I call you right back to check for monsters. Let's start off with the products I'm going to be using in this um, trial and then we're going to get right on into the first impressions. I'm super excited. So first off, we have the Effaclair Purifying Foaming Gel Cleanser. This is what this product looks like right here. Um, it is in a new bottle from their old one, so that is a little bit of a difference. Let's go ahead and open this up this has a ph of 5.5 to 6 it's paraben free non-comedogenic and tested on acne prone skin okay and if we look on the back here it says that this is going to purify oils without drying um the skin out thanks to gentle cleansing agents um rigorously selected to ensure good tolerance okay i've actually heard really good things about this cleanser um looking at the ingredients it's a very simple list um, you know, we have water in here and then obviously the cleaning agents, but we also do have perfume slash fragrance in here undeclared. So, um, that concerns me a little bit, but because it is a cleanser, I don't mind it as much because it's a wash off treatment. So, um, we'll see how that goes. And then next we have the Effaclair Micro Peeling Purifying Gel for Acne Prone Skin. Um, this is a 2% salicylic acid plus LHA product now i have actually tested this out before if you go back on my channel you'll see a video on this as well as one of their toners that i tested out for two weeks and i personally really like this product for getting that exfoliation i wouldn't use it more than like once or twice a week just to kind of get that refresh on the skin um so i'm not going to open this one up because i already have it so i'm going to give this away to a friend but um we're going to get into this product right here it's definitely an interesting product because it has kind of those micro balls in there that will kind of exfoliate the skin and it does feel like a very nice experience and next up we have the Effaclair serum this is the ultra concentrated serum it's going to refine skin texture it's a gentle daily peeling um, and it reduces signs of aging we have salicylic acid glycolic acid and lhas in here lipohydroxy acids and this was tested on adult acne skin interesting acne prone skin marks left behind by acne visible pores and fine lines is what this product is going to target so this is what the product looks like right here it comes with a little dropper um very interesting we do also have fragrance in here as well so we'll have to see how suitable that is for my sensitive skin because not only do i have acne prone skin i also have very dry skin and sensitive skin um but this is definitely interesting it says it's an ultra concentrated formula with tri-acid exploiting complex so we have that salicylic acid the lha and the glycolic acid those are going to work great together um salicylic acid is more for digging deep into the pores and exploiting so it's really good for like blackheads and acne and then glycolic acid is more of a surface exfoliant that's going to really give that glowy look to the skin and LHAs work really gently on the skin so that's great to see in there we also have that niacinamide vitamin b3 and then the last product we're going to be testing out in this trial is the Epiclair Duo Global Action Acne Treatment. So this is a 24-hour hydrating lotion. Um, it reduces the number of acne pimples and allows skin to heal. This is what this product looks like right here. So it says you can apply this on any affected acne prone areas. You can apply it daily and increase to two times daily if your skin tolerates it. So we have 0.5 salicylic acid in here. That's really going to be the main 
um, ingredient here that's going to help with acne, but we also have glycerin, niacinamide. Okay, so this is very interesting because it's kind of sounds like one of those acne treatments that it's not only going to help with the acne, but also kind of support your skin in that healing process. Let's go ahead and jump into this. So I'm going to go ahead and remove my makeup first. I'm just going to use my Juno Skin Clean 10 Cleansing Balm to do so. So I'm going to take the Purifying Foaming Gel now um, and cleanse my skin since my skin's already damp. So go ahead and take some of this. It's just a clear gel. So emulsify. It does foam up a little. Okay. I'm interested to see if this will be drying at all since it is a gel cleanser. Feels very silky on the skin though. There is that perfume there. It just smells like very fresh, I would say. A little like florally. Pat the skin dry. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab the um, Effaclair Micro Peeling Purifying Gel. So I'm not gonna be using this every day. The cleanser I'm gonna be using every day and night to cleanse the skin. This one I'm just gonna be using like max three times a week, I would say. So add some water to it. This one does foam up quite a bit, as you can see. I'm just gonna use this to do some of that exfoliating. Now this one smells like a hot tub. That's how I described it last time, I think, and this is how I'll describe it again. Okay, so the skin is now fully cleansed. My skin doesn't feel actually stripped or anything. It just feels like really clean and actually really soft at the, after that exfoliating. So the cleanser so far, I really liked. It didn't feel stripping at all, so that's good. I'll have to see how my skin reacts to it over the next couple days, of course. Um, but so far, first impressions, it was pretty good for a gel cleanser. I'm just going to go ahead and put the dropper in the serum. Oh my gosh. This smells so sweet. Very, very fragranced. Um, I think they're trying to mask like that, those acid smells. I honestly would rather those acid smells than the artificial fragrance. Cause you don't know where it comes from and you don't know how it could irritate your skin. So it's very tacky. So with this, I'll really have to see if that fragrance irritates me at all throughout the next few days. And then let's apply the lotion. So I think you just apply this kind of all over the skin. Just gonna grab some of the product. Same scent to it. This might be a nice product, like if you do have acne and you want a cream that can kind of target your acne and your scars all at the same time okay there's that okay i'm just gonna go ahead and apply sunscreen because obviously we've done some exploiting want to protect my skin i'm gonna be using the banish the defender today take two pumps of that all right guys so i wanted to come on here and give you guys a little 40 update on the routine so i have been really enjoying Actually, the cleanser and the serum um, and the cream, actually, I think the cream is my favorite part and I'll get into that in a second, but I think I'm overusing these products a little bit or I'm not using enough moisturizer. So I've just kind of been using this lotion as my moisturizer and this stuff is great, guys. It feels really great on the skin. If you have oily skin, I think you will really enjoy this actually, um, but it targets the breakouts, you know, with that salicylic acid in here. I think this is an amazing product. I haven't experienced any irritation really from the fragrances in here which is a good sign because that was the one thing I was worried about but I don't know if you guys can see but I do have some dryness going on around my mouth and my skin feels a little tight and I think that's just because I've been using this as my moisturizer instead of you know a regular moisturizer so I'm gonna just start using this once a day and using a moisturizer that's a little more you know um inclusive at night and seeing how that goes and if my skin still feels too dry then i'm gonna only use the serum once a day as well maybe the opposite time of the lotion use the lotion in the morning use the serum at night and see how that goes and i'm just gonna switch that up take it a little easier because i think i'm overusing these products a little too much and i will update you guys in a few days to see how those changes affect my skin 
Okay guys, so it has officially been a week of me testing out these La Roche Posay Effaclair products. So I just finished cleansing my skin with the cleanser and then I'm gonna go in with the serum. I'm doing my morning routine right now. So since I last saw you guys, I stopped using the serum and the lotion at the same time together. So now I'm using the serum in the morning and then I'm using the moisturizer at night so i'm just patting this in i think i am maybe experiencing a little bit of sensitivity to the fragrance in here gotta be honest let me show you guys so i just have like some small little breakouts like stuff like this that i don't usually get so that's making me feel like maybe it's from that fragrance or something in here that's giving me more of these like irritation pimples um, but I haven't gotten like cysts or anything of like my regular acne, so that's good. But just kind of some of these spots. I'm gonna show you guys more up close some of just these like texture spots that I've been getting. That might be from the um, fragrance in the products. But that is the one week update and I'm gonna continue using these products a similar way, using the moisturizer in my night routine, using the um, serum in my morning routine, and then using the cleanser um, both morning and night and then I'll update you guys soon. All right guys, so I am here to talk about my final thoughts on the La Roche-Posay Effaclair collection. So let's get right on into it. So first off, I wanna start off by saying that I think this is a really good line for someone who struggles with acne more moderately not as severely and maybe doesn't have sensitive skin um so if you get the occasional breakout from hormones or weather changes or maybe you ate too much sugar or something like that and you get those occasional breakouts i think this line could be a really great thing for you and if you have more normal skin your skin doesn't really get irritated by much um, especially by fragrance then this might be a really good line um just because all the products do unfortunately have fragrance in there so for me someone with more sensitive skin it's maybe not the best option and similarly since i have more severe acne this just sometimes doesn't cut it for me as a routine so i'm gonna start off with the micro peeling um gel right here i really like this i think it's a good gentle exfoliator it will do the job you know use it once a week and it'll kind of keep that maintenance in the skin to make sure it's exfoliated but it won't do too much and it won't overdo it on the skin so this is actually a product i enjoy um and i really really would recommend that to someone who's just looking for a light exfoliator that they can use like once a week uh, maybe twice a week that has that salicylic acid in there as far as the purifying foaming gel though i don't know that this is my favorite cleanser i think it's you know effective at being a gentle cleanser not stripping the skin and having that nice foaming sensation and doing the cleansing job but i don't think there's anything in here that makes this really an acne skin prone cleanser um you know we have those cleansing agents in here um we have water we have that fragrance perfume so there's nothing in here that i'm like yes that will really target acne and for that reason i wouldn't really continue using this for myself but if you're someone like i said who's just looking for a good cleanser that's not stripping maybe foams a little bit has a fragrance to it if you are someone who likes fragrances this could be a really great one it's very simple not too much in there um and it will do that cleansing job i just don't think it's the best choice for acne prone skin moving on to the serum again i really enjoyed this for the ingredient list i think it's effective at targeting breakouts more moderately um but the fragrance in here um did worry me a little bit and i think it maybe did sensitize my skin a little and cause some of those more texture spots on my face and i'm kind of repeating myself here if you don't have a sensitivity to fragrance and you struggle with a bit of those breakouts this could be a really great serum to integrate into your routine and if you like that experience of having fragrance in your skincare routine because some people I know really enjoy that. And for the last product, which is probably my favorite out of the line, this is the Effaclair Duo. Um, this is really, really interesting to me because it's kind of that hydrating lotion plus an acne treatment all in one. We do have that 0.5% salicylic acid in here, so it will actually work at targeting breakouts pretty effectively. Um, and I think this is a good product since if you want a simple routine and you want something that can both target your acne and provide a bit of hydration, moisturization, this could be a really great thing. I think someone with more normal to oily skin would really enjoy this. If you have dry skin like me i would just maybe switch this out like only use it once a day and then maybe use your more inclusive more um nourishing moisturizer at night or something like that but this was actually a product i really did enjoy and i think it's a very interesting product for being kind of that lotion and acne product all in one 
All right, guys, and that's really my final thoughts on the La Roche-Posay Effaclair collection for acne-prone skin and kind of what I thought about each individual product. So if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more skincare trials similar to this, I'll have my full playlist linked down below in the description for you. But if you did enjoy, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and also make sure to turn on my post notifications so you get notified every single time I upload a new video. But that is all for today. I just want to say I love you guys so much and I really appreciate your support. Um, hope you're having a great one and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, you tell me stories. You tuck me in. And the second you leave, I call you right back to check for monsters.